Welcome everybody. We are live. We are playing Woven. If you don't know what Woven is, it's a game I started December 9th, 2019. And we still haven't beaten it. I've done one other stream because another game we were playing um wasn't working, so I instead I played Woven and uh, I think we're nearing the end, so hopefully we actually beat it today. Hello, Norwal. Hello, Quackster. How are y'all doing today? Okay, so uh, right now we are the little helper character. I can't remember their name. <coughs> so, this is fun. I do not remember this character's name. I think it's Buzz or something. Sometimes the moon seems so close. Glitch wanted to cross over quickly. Stuffy must be so afraid. Glitch. Those snapped and Them. Blocked, forming a blockade. I knew you could do that. Uh, I'm doing <coughs> I'm doing pretty good. Let's see. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they don't like the light. Yeah, it seems they don't like the light. Did that. It's a good thing the moon illuminates the sky tonight. I don't trust that. I'm not gonna be part of that. What? Woolen plants attacking metal? Oh, go away! Glitch was here to help, not to be eaten as prey. Can I scan that? Keep it moving. <coughs> oh. Okay, the stuffies. Whatever that is. And then there's some spiders. The beetle had taken stuffy to some sort of metal conclave. Awaiting who knew what dark fate. The beetle suddenly seemed to have little eye for Stuffy, retreating into the cave. This could be Glitch's chance. He shouldn't wait. Okay, I kind of forgot a... Uh, a beetle stole Stuffy. And Stuffy's a flamingo right now. Can I... Oh, that's just a gear. Stuffy was unharmed and even seemed excited. For it had been a wild ride, but they were once again reunited. Glitch, though, had felt such fear, and his guilt was even stronger. It fell to him to care and protect, more so where Stuffy was concerned. They should not linger for much longer, and leave before the beetle returned. Oh, fuck, I keep pressing that button. Okay.
We did it. Oh, we're getting another bird. Okay. Over here. Their pattern? No. Forgot stuff he had this one big arm. <laughs> why had the beetle captured Stuffy, taking him here? And why would he then so suddenly disappear? It could have easily finished what it had begun. Instead, it did a routinely executed job, abandoned, half done. It made no sense. Okay, let's be this new bird. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> so this one can jump. <laughs> Jump and fly. Poor Stuffy. Let's see. Why does Stuffy look at me like that? Don't judge me, Stuffy. Um, where do I go now? I go over here. <laughs> Hello, Elliot. That's not what I meant to do, but maybe we need some other powers besides the flying. And I do. A push is always good. Does the head do anything? It can sing. Okay, that's good. That's good for now. Should I change colors? Let's change the color. Um, we need a nice, what, what looks nice? Let's do, do that. That's the secondary, this is the primary. Oh, fashion. This is fashion. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... Okay, that's... I don't know, orange. I think in this maroon. And then... This one. Oh, look at that fashion. We look like a turkey now. <laughs> oh. Oh, here. And then... How do I do... Oh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Lost, they could barely see the moon through the trees. Very slay, Which we're slaying to today. Of, sensing I don't like he that. was unwanted here and feeling great unease. No, Lich has been eaten. Okay, we're safe. These plants had only eyes for Glitch, while towards Stuffy, they seemed blind. And everywhere lay the roving insects, strangled by ferocious vines. Were these the telltale signs that for creatures like Stuffy, this place was kind?
I did it. Oh, I need to bring him over here. There we go. And then I think over here and maybe he'll perch. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> I just grab it oh maybe I do it wrong no oh maybe I bring it over here we haven't had a prom promo like that in a while okay how do I get this banana everywhere did one just move I need to get these banana. I'm flying now. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. They're getting, they're chasing, okay. Good. If life here had willfully risen against the machines, would more gentle creatures hide from danger amongst the greens? Glitch didn't know why the beetle was here even though he felt he should. But whatever the reason, its presence could forebode little he can good. stomp that. Okay. I woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> Not even. <coughs> and um, haven't done much. Okay, let's get some stompy feet in. Uh, here we always have some wings, because flying is much quicker. Beautiful. Mellow. Okay. Here a creature seemed to sleep beneath. That's a giant sloth. At least, it seemed at peace. In this case, <laughs> insurmountably so. I love that. Oh, I have to make noise. They're changing place around here. Oh, I can stop. Watch out, Glitch. Hmm. I need a... I need, I need a change. I need to... Uh... Yell. <laughs> <laughs> I 
tripping wallpaper and carpets most of the day. I haven't stripped a carpet in a very long time. That sounded like a euphemism, but it wasn't. Oh, now we are a terrible evil creature. This looks demonic. It's a good thing the moon illuminates the sky tonight. Oh, I don't feel comfortable here. We are really deep into his taint. Okay, there we go. But I still can't get back there. I still need to get back there. So I can continue, but I want that other pattern. Hello, Matt. Not Matt. I mean, your name is Matt. <laughs> Scatter. <laughs> it gets confusing. Oh, is this my chance? No, let me through. I need the pattern. Give me the pattern. At least the wolf thrives here. Abundantly even. Come on, come on, I need this pattern. There we go. <coughs> Stuffy looks very concerned. Oh, I missed one. That's fine. Is that? Oh, oh, nothing. Is that a frog? <gasps> it's a frog. Stuffy always looks so concerned. Okay, let's go try out this frog. Okay, this one can sing. Uh, let's just do all of it just to see what it looks like and then we'll change what we need. It can pick up stuff and it can hit buttons, so it doesn't have any new powers. I like it. Okay. But we gotta... We always need wings. At this point, we're gonna need wings all the time. And we may need... And I do need the stomping. I need some stomp, and we also need that so we'll we'll go back to our original elephant oh stuffy <sighs> oh this isn't what you're supposed to look like
pretty much besides the panic attack. I'm sorry that you that that happened. But also, as someone who has panic attacks often, not often, well, sometimes it can be triggered by literally the smallest of things. In the sky, so, they could see a thing that surely couldn't. It's not be. always as serious, that but I hope everything's was going by okay. By no means an ordinary moon, suspended in the sky, so close it could almost be caressed. A tall, towering hill would allow them to get nearby. A gigantic metal machine, Glitch would never have guessed. Are we trying to go to the moon? I kind of forget the story of this game. Hello? Oh, snake can be scanned. Uh, let's fly. Flying is so much quicker. Hey, okay, I need to get their banana. Oh, there it is. Let me scan. Oh, I didn't let it scan. Um, where do I change? Because I need to sing. Um, oh, here we go. The frog sings, right? Yes. Oh, we're beautiful. It's a beautiful creature. What's the pattern? an eye out for movement. How do I get up?
don't know how I triggered it last time. Nope. Oh, they moved. Okay. There we go. Um. Hello? Why did I want to be up here? Oh. Or up here? Yes. Just look at all these wonderful lights. <coughs> This is my favorite part. It's getting all the different animal patterns. <gasps> is monkey. We can be monkey now. Okay. Uh, why? <laughs> See nothing over there. Okay, over here. This area seemed eerily empty of life of any kind. Just a few signs of those who had lived here had been left behind. Traces of what was were gone, and the area made clean. Now no one will know exactly what had taken place in this scene. So long ago, it seemed almost like a dream. Glitch saw what it must have been once. A snug hideout safe until Stuffy simply saw what was to see. To him, this place was cozy still. And that was for the Stuffies once roamed this landscape, made of every size and shape. Here they painted their caves, lived their lives, dug their graves. They lived off the land and they knew no despair, sheltered by the weavers that would help them repair. He had known them once, but had now forgotten. Only painted shapes remained the images stained. Blueprints of a life long lost, and a fate ill begotten. Okay. That's supposed to be the sloth. I think that is the sloth. Then the stuffies worship that, and then there was a big spider. Oh, sorry. It scared me. Oh, there we go.
This place is amazing, though. Okay. This one should be the last one for this level. is that I don't know what that is That's supposed to be. because flying is so much quicker. How the hell am I supposed to stomp and jump? Can't do that. There's a memory. This place was once knitted by the weavers, shaped with needle and thread, as a safe place from harm, lacking hostility or threat. That wool had turned traitor, attacked its creator. Or was the opposite true? Was it a matter of view? No, if wool had grown to hate metal, it would have had a reason. Metal machines had committed the treason. They had acted first. But why? What had happened? And could its effects be reversed? Um... They're, they're really trying to make wool the good guy, huh? And metal the bad guy. I don't know. Metal might have a reason. Oh, no. Okay, but where exactly am I supposed to go? Let's see. This place is I think amazing, I took a path, a split path earlier. So this is where that's where we came from. That oh, okay. Nothing there. So this is where I need to be. Go up here. And then in here is this dead end just with a pattern. Okay, over here you have the jump. Okay, you have this form here. Oh, 
where am I trying to go? Up here, I think. Hello, butterfly? Hello, kitty? <laughs> we just pushed it. We just pushed it. <laughs> okay, what what can we do? I guess maybe we stomp it? Let's see. This is the new one. I can jump, press button, maybe... Okay. That one. And then... Oh. Not done. Wondrous, but keep an eye out for movement. Okay, that was just for a pattern. I didn't help with the cheetah. Why can the monkey go through, but not me? <gasps> Maybe I need to be monkey. Let's be monkey. Monkey. Okay, monkey don't work. Monkey scared. Something up here. can just walk past it. Hello, monkey? I think I need to get a banana.
I'm confused but what this is telling me. <gasps> oh, it's telling me if I have that pattern, it will let me through. That's what it's telling me. I'll just do everything. There we go. And now it'll follow me, and now it's gonna scare this monkey. Shapes and colors seem to swirl and mix. Magnificent. I thought I was going to scare the monkey. Oh, now he's stuck. Is there a banana here? No banana. Okay, now what? That. That one. There we go, okay. The shapes and colors seem to swirl and mix. Magnificent. I like how I just have a cheetah jaguar friend now. On top, they could see giant gears floating by. Obviously, in this place, the rules of normal gravity oh, did not to apply. Jump. What had happened here? <clears throat> okay, give me some goat legs. And also, I need wings. Okay, that'll do. Quickly look down here. Oh, that's a big snake. What is this? Oh, no. No, no, no. Just no. We are not doing this. Let's go. No, let's do it. Oh, pattern's near the thing. We've we've dealt with that big snake before. Jungle fashion. Okay. 
right. Oh, well done. <coughs> but to all snakes out there fashionable and well adorned, I'm in the market for a new pair of boots. So consider yourself warned. How sassy. Wait, is this where we're supposed to go? I thought up was where we're supposed to go. Okay. Let me go up real quick. Like, that looks like, uh, progress. Spooky, yes. Yet beautiful, too. Why would that machine's light? Oh, this was progress. God damn it. Small metal firefly. The time had come to find the answer that waited in the sky. Finally, Glitch would discover about his past and his place in this world, too, at long last. About why the machines acted in ways that did not rhyme. All of that and more after this long climb. And a long climb it is, isn't it? Okay, I think we're nearing Are up the end. Yet? Or now? Oh, why is this hill this tall? Why the subtitles a little Gosh, bit slow? There'd better be a spectacular view of the moon up there. Ah, oh, finally there. Oh no, there is more. Oh. Look at this weird little waddle. Amazing, isn't it? The gear was freed of its earthly confines. Slowly, but surely, they rose above the jungle and yellow desert in the distance below. Up and up, towards the moon's waning glow. They have a lot of trust in not falling off of this thing, huh? So is this like the Death Star? What's happening? be happy that Stuffy's risk assessment is as sharp as his wit. You would not have made that jump, and you know it. You don't or know my life. Was debris or a floating gear? Had some sort of explosion stranded all this here? What magnetism persuaded it to remain this high? The moon shone with light, but left glitch in the dark, asking why. Floating gear led them to the dark side of the moon. A gigantic machine, its wheels slowly turning. Glitch felt they should find a way into the heart of the machine, and soon, to where the light was burning. The cut 
like machine would take them deep into the cavernous construction. Glitch's heart fluttered as they entered a metal world without any instruction. Yet somehow he knew this place, even if he didn't know why. As if remembering a previous life, a time before he was a firefly. They were in the moon, its light faintly burning. A machine unlike they had ever seen, its parts slowly turning. Kindness was stolen. The heart of the world is missing. Danger. Danger. Once, Glitch had been part of this machine. But that was deep underground and not this sideways scene. As teacher together, they ruled this clockwork world made of metal through and through. Their song guided all machines to knit and care for woolen creatures. Making all woolen fabric fit, creating new features. But that was its purpose true. Glitch was happy, home at last. But then a thousand memories showed him the past. Something had gone wrong. A vital part of this machine had been stolen. Glitch was birthed. The teacher died and the world divided. Steel constructions oversaw the world's destruction. Insects that had been tasked to guard the meek turned on Stuffy's kind. They preyed on the weak. No. The metal insects reverted back to their most basic of function. Not out of evil, but because of malfunction. The entire woolen world was stripped of its kind, as Glitch lay dormant and blind. There were a hundred years of madness, and a thousand days of sadness. Now the last of woolen life, the insects too would scour, the machines out of control, until the heart returned, and then was made whole. The machine stuttered. It had spent its last bit of power. Kindness was stolen. The heart of the world is missing. Danger. Danger. This machine had waited a hundred years with this last directive, giving Glitch an insurmountable objective. A difficult task for staring them in the face. They had to restore this entire machine, the heart of the world to its rightful place. Okay, how we do that? We leave and never return? These tracks would have once led the carts underground. Where to now did you think it was bound? The cart flew off its tracks and over it went. Stuffy and Glitch fell to the end of the Are we in the desert now? And into desert sand. Yep. Okay, so the heart of the machine was stolen and now we need it back. And I just go assume a giant spider has to it. To say Stuffy understood it all would certainly be a lie. But as always, he had felt the gist of it all. Glitch was an important part of something bigger, and the world was all wrong. So he would help restore Glitch to the world, and be strong. A barren land lay before them, towered oh. by four huge pieces of machinery. Giant metal insects roamed everywhere. The scent of smoke, hot and heavy in the air, a truly unnerving bit of scenery. They were close to their journey's end. Okay. Let's fly, do a little exploration if we can. <coughs> Sand fashion. I think we can get on that scorpion. Oh.
Okay, we can change if we need that for now. No room for errors. Oh, there's gonna be errors, trust me. I will mess up. Cannot scan that? That looked like it would be scannable. The yell. Kind of weird that the monkey can't make. Oh, it can. I just wasn't paying attention. I, I just think that was just a scan. Yeah, that was just a scan them. I think. Careful now. No room for errors. Whatever you are, bunny. Pumpkin. That's cute. This is where we already were. Don't. Well, we have to distract that spider somehow. <laughs> I 
I think this is exactly the same as it was before. I think this area is always the same. that from last time and I don't think we had the singing at that point so we couldn't we couldn't do the other one all the way out okay where does that spawn us because I'm gonna get so lost here Watch your step now. Okay. In this area, at least. The scorpion seemed fixed on its track and had no place else he could go. Maybe it could be persuaded to stop at this strange metal plateau. Anywhere else I can go? Doesn't look like it. I'll wait for a scorpion. Okay. seemed to restore a fort, and the scorpion stopped its assault. Its primary task was, apparently, to repair the spool up above. Glitch could now control, or guide it, sort of. I don't really know what this means. Put in there. Can do this. 
Or is it this one? Oh, this one is already in there. I'm confused. I don't think I need to do anything. All here. those spiders wandering around aimlessly. Be careful. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, that's cute. Look at the jump. I kind of wish you could choose one leg yet like you can the arms because choosing between stomping and jumping is kind of the most annoying part in this game. <clears throat> Have a we have a gear. Don't really know what that's for. What's how often you switch? It feels just a little on esque. Yeah, it can make for some puzzles because you you need um. need certain ones in certain areas and you have to like juggle them that that's when it's like that i i, I understand the design philosophy <clears throat> but when it's just like ex exploration normal exploration it just isn't as much fun intent. is this a pattern yes oh i can push this I don't know what to do with that. Does that help anything?
The arm flapping. Yeah, I was... It's so funny that it still flaps its arm even though... And it only needs one wing to fly. I have no idea where to go. I'm assuming... It's these big structures, but then I get to one and they don't do anything. So that, so all the, that that is is a transportation thing, and I don't understand how it works. So this doesn't do anything. And it just, okay, it doesn't do anything. Let's get on this again, but I need to switch jumping to not jumping. Even in the face of all this, just as Stuffy needed his daily dose of flour, this machine could boast no rotation without a supply of power. Okay, so we need to supply its power, but how? it's this that matches up with that no switch to like activate it everywhere. My heart would weep. Yeah, I don't see anything to really interact with that. Let's just go on to the next one. Is this one rotating? No. I guess we need to power all these, but I haven't figured that out. Aw, oh, there's a giant sandworm over there. Uh, the blue one is... Oh, okay. it's so far away. Which one is it supposed to be? This one. And then... 
the red one's the square, and then the yellow one's the circle. I think I miss. Oh, we have to go get those gears again. But I think if you switch between between grabbing them, I think you you lose them. So I need another gear. Let's see if there's any around here. I have no idea how to get back to where I was before. Now we go back. Oh, that is a... That's really pretty, actually. Can't scan that. Okay. Howard. Okay. Uh... So I think I just need to ride this like four times. The world is in danger as it is. This area. Not been. No, let's come back later. We started at correct. Yes. And this one's spinning. I can grab a gear. Wait, chaos. if I... No, I can't grab the gear, because don't I need a jump to grab the gear? So, if I jump, then I can't... Switch... Switch... Things... Oh no, it's one of the environmental puzzles that I was praising earlier!
Who can pick up stuff? You. That's not what I even needed to change. I got confused. Gear. How do we get this gear to? The other trade station. Is this armadillo? Seems to be going. Maybe I need it. Push. The heat is intense. Push the. Uh, let's see. Where does the armadillo go? Coming comes on this side. Wait, Gorilla can do all three. Oh, so we need the Gorilla at all times. So, hey, that one could do all three, so we're gonna keep Gorilla. Let's, let me look at all of them and see. Maybe there's one that can jump and stomp. That one can just jump. That one, let's see, Bunny maybe can jump and stomp. That one can just jump. I have a feeling that none of them can jump and stomp. I need the most overpowered stuffy.
I think I need to push this on the armadillo. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm having fun. This is armadillo. It didn't do it. It was quiet and serene once. Um. Go over here. Oh. The moon heart. Glitch now understood. It sang machines its song that drove them on and on, giving function and life in conjunction as a hive. Without, they would just do what they did, without reason, performing basic functions only, committing their treason. If the world was made whole, the moon's personality would again take control. And that would fix everything, right? Kind of at a loss of what to do here. I don't have a way to grab. Grab a gear and then. That's just a. Something. Let's just go and. Uh, Explore the other area. I have a feeling that there's a gear. And serene once. There's a gear in the other section, and I just haven't found them. I'm under the assumption that all the gears are here, and I just don't. That just might not be right. This has to do something. We did something. I don't know exactly what we did, but we did something. We just made it so we can scan it. That, that's all we did. Oh, you, you could just scan the armadillo. Okay, let's go to the next area. Wait. Pick up a gear here. Maybe that's what we're in. Maybe that's what this is missing is just the gears. Wait, where are the. Here? What? Wait, where the hell were those gears? Oh, let's just jump again.
is so much chaos. spool started turning, generating more power as it picked up speed. They would need to use the scorpion's tail if they were to succeed. I just don't know what the scorpion tail does. I just don't know what this this is saying. Yeah, I just don't know what that's saying. Doesn't mean anything yet okay but let's just let's just try to turn on all of them everywhere my heart would weep looking for some gears to pick up there anything up here oh there's a cave happened and it went bad.
potato. I figure out how to get a gear. Can we go over there? No. There was a gear that didn't need the jumping. Just couldn't find it again, but it was there. I remember it. I saw it with my eyes. Watch your step now. literally all I needed. Okay, there we go. Even in the face of all this, there is still life in this desert.
That's... that's right. What else am I missing? Oh, that... With that power, circle. The Different circle. Determined. Generating more power as it picked up speed. They would need to use the scorpion's tail if they were to succeed. I still don't know what the scorpion's tail does. Let's do the next one. Machines brought order. That was their goal. If restored their intelligence, that would be their role. That should be a good thing, but something was missing. A thing he wasn't seeing or conclusion dismissing. The moon had from this world been ejected because it had somehow been affected. Glitch was connected, but how? Okay, we still need the yellow one. Oh! The heat is intense. Nate. Oh, no more. Surely this one we can ignore. Now we gotta do the Come. fashion. We cannot have it lead us astray. Why is it still here anyway? It's near something smoking, I don't know. They come across some heart. Oh, oh, no more. Surely this one we can ignore. Come, we cannot have it lead us astray. Why is it still here anyway? Look, the the snake is just very fashionable. I want to talk about what the music reminds me of, but I don't want to say it out loud. <laughs> the world is in danger as it is. had been a part of the moon's personality, a cog in its machine and part of its totality. Together he was the machine and teacher, creating and straightening and caring for the creatures. Part of one <laughs> world was as old as ticking time, <gasps> ruling through song. Stuff he's just flapping about. 
making the metal world safe for life to live. But what was his part? What peace had he to give? <clears throat> because of his fault, the moon was evicted, with machines roaming the land and destroying unrestricted. He felt responsible at the root of the evil that was wrought. He should try to fix it all, or this whole journey was for naught. Now, what does that tell us about Glitch? I don't know. He just kind of there. Okay, let's go over here, I think. It's under you! Move now! Oh. I'm over here. Okay, that's where the big sandworm lives, apparently. Let's not be where the big sandworm is. There's a jumping spot there. Let's go do that jump. Giraffes don't jump. They stomp. Careful now. No room for errors. Even in the face of all this, there is still life in this desert. For some reason, I kind of thought we were done with them um, getting new animal patterns. Is that supposed to be an owl? I don't know what that is. Wait, I didn't see how many that it said that there were in this area. I wonder if I can... Three, there's three, okay.
Okay, it has all the gears, so we don't need any gears. Um, let's see. Blue was. I think we'll just do the blue. Blue was the little weird rectangle, and red is the cloud. And then yellow, we could just kind of cycle through, I guess. There we go. The power on. The spool started turning, generating more power as it picked up speed. They would need to use the scorpion's tail if they were to succeed. I just don't, still don't know what the scorpion's tail what that that's doing or what I need to do with it What's the new one? This thing? You can jump by. We'll say a monkey. Oh, wait, I do need to change my feet, though. Very, very simple. <laughs> Just gotta move the black ones to the that one and make sure all the reds are on the other one. Okay. That's it. Okay. I kind of thought it was something like that, but I was wondering if it was a specific pattern I was supposed to know. There's no reds here, right? No. There we go. That did it. By using the scorpion's tail as a repairing tool, they had returned a sense of order to the spool. The machine sent out sparks to the moon's floating construction and pulled it into the desert as the scorpion awaited further instruction. 
this was what they had come for, right? So, is this just the one, or do I need to do all of them? Which one am I missing? Oh. Oh, did I just move one? The second spool now churning its jolting rays. They saw the moon pulled further into place. We're figuring it out. Probably should have figured it out like an hour ago, but still. <laughs> Light. The next bull would be the one to set things right. Or so Glitch surmised. Even he did not know how all this was devised. I'm moving slower. Was this supposed to be the first one I did? Oh. 
so much destruction. Is this what awaits the world? This brought the moon into its final location. The ground trembled when the power lines descended, opening up the center that it had previously defended, where they would find the final station. Giant sandworm. Uh, I don't think it was here. up in the first station. Let's see. Uh, no. I don't think so. Wait, can I go over here? Oh, it is. It's right here. Look around real quick. Oh, I remember this. thriving here still. The moon had aligned perfectly above its rightful place and slowly started to descend with monumental grace. I got a little bit worried the that... The returned and then was made whole. They had returned the heart to the world. I was worried that I had to do that in every section. Right. No, take a number. Guess again. The moon glowed red and menacing. Something was wrong. A thrumming in the earth could be heard. The moon heart singing its song. Glitch could hear it speaking of order through destruction. This was not the same teacher that had given his instruction. Moon this bad. Oh no. Ejected itself. Oh no. It was broken. Its song perverse. They had returned the heart to the world, unwhole, making things worse. Oops. Glitch realized this machine was not caring and kind. It was a broken heart. Glitch had to go underground and return the moon's vital missing part. Hatches had opened here and yonder. Insects marching for extermination. If they did not go forth now to save all life, they had simply sped up its damnation. Run, Stuffy monkey! Would go into the hive, even if that meant risking his life. Stuffy's gonna die. I just don't trust video games and them not killing off the characters I love. They entered a world of metal through and through. 
Shadows moved above them. What were they getting into? The metal insects were aimless automatons no more. If Glitch and Stuffy were caught now, they would never reach the core. It would be the... This entire world was one big intricate machine hive. And every part of it moved, turned, creaked, or squeaked as if it was alive. Slapping his arm a bit. <laughs> yep. How do I get... Oh. Oh. I don't know why I couldn't get on from over there. Do I want to go up or down? Uh, there is no up. Okay. That was too close for my liking. Okay, that's gonna get annoying because I have to wait each time. They could reach the moon from underneath, but would have to watch their step. This would be where the spiders slept. of this world were unversed, corrupt, and perverted. Destroying, not creating. Their function reversed and... They're destroying all the war! All wool the machines had gathered ever since the time of woe. I forgot about the time of woe. <laughs> the, fire that burned the time of woe. I'm obsessed Lich with that phrase. Unspoken. A thing he greatly feared. That this wasn't just the wool of the land but also of those that had disappeared. We should end this. Those are all a Stuffy's people. Okay. Keep it moving. Unaffected from the heart's red glow, a praying mantis kept doing its work with care. Glitch had seen it before, although it wasn't easy to recall when or where. It was at his birth, the first thing Glitch remembered seeing. This world's janitor, or some mysterious being. All was connected, one big machine world of steam and gear. It's still a strange glitch. Was his place here? It seemed they had found the final resting place of all Stuffy's kind. Taken away from their wool, when long ago they were trapped. Their eyes <laughs> sorted, stored, and carefully kept. 
their lives in these metal those are those eyes. are stuffy's eyes oh my god Were they those are the eyes alive? oh my god that's really fucking creepy <laughs> Uh, no. Oh, a stomp. They had stumbled into the spider's hive. They had to run, or they would not survive. Run. Oh, they okay. ran past the door when it suddenly slammed shut. It would delay the spiders. But they would try to find a shortcut. There was no telling what to thank for their sudden rescue or how long its metal would last. What was left was to go up to try to save the future by mending the past. Okay. The heart was just ahead, once again connected to the world, but with a missing part, without glitch, lacking empathy, incomplete. Would the spiders allow him that last chance to rejoin the heart? Or was it the final chord, their end that they would meet? The machine was running wild. Something had to be done. But there was not enough time, for the spiders had come. It was over. But oh, Stuffy no. wasn't up for that. He might not be the brightest bulb in this shed, but he knew when to do the right thing. Glitch saw his friend run with dread. <gasps> but because Stuffy went to distract the spiders, Glitch just had time to plug himself in. He had to. Not he Stuffy. Had to. I told you Stuffy was going to die. Stuffy's gone. He's gone from the loading screen. Oh. Stuffy was torn apart. Oh my into god. A million pieces chopped. When the spider stopped, their claws dropped. The heart of the world made whole. The kind teacher once again in control. The initial glitch mended. The conflict could now be ended. All over the world, this happened, as machines were returned to their purpose true. To create, to guard and repair creatures, and Woolen World too. So, what about Stuffy's kind? Thousands of Woolen bodies mislaid. In storage, the teacher found the souls of all harvested stuffies carefully displayed. No pair of eyes had ever been destroyed in those hundred years of strife. So all of the, the stuffies, their souls are it their was eyes. Time to return them all to life. And so life was returned to a world that would otherwise have been bared to its parts. It shows how far you can come with a little courage and just enough smarts. Never give doubt the chance to discourage you and don't let fear stop you. Never. Ever. Aww. It's the original Stuffy. I just wanted to see Stuffy with Glitch again, though. Okay, we beat it. It took three years, but we finally beat this game. Are they one punch man? That was really fun. <laughs> that was good. It was confusing at times, but we figured it out.
it was just really cute and I really liked the world they made and there, there was a lot of cool moments I do remember when this game first originally I don't remember if I played it at release or what but when I did play it I did us made the assumption that it was a 3d platformer it, it's not <laughs> it's more of a, an adventure game uh, but I like its presentation a lot. The storytelling is really cute. Uh, Stuffy is an extremely cute character, even when it gets weird with the weird body horror of having different animal parts. But even with that, Stuffy remains a really cute character. And, cre and it's just a really cute world all made of wool. And the spiders are extremely intimidating enemies. Uh, that I originally thought it was just a single spider, but knowing that there was a lot at once is uh, even more terrifying. I, uh, what else? What else is up with this game? I kind of wish. Like, really, the only repeating character was the snake. I kind of wish there was more repeating characters that had, like, their own little storylines. Like, there was the crab that stole stuff and all that, but I wanted a little bit more. Is that stuffy dabbing? <laughs> Not stuffy dabbing. And this was 2019. That was prime dabbing. That's when it was uncool. It wasn't even ironically funny anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, that was it. I do wonder if there's a 100% completion reward. Because we did miss a lot of patterns. And even some animal patterns. We missed quite a few of those. I wonder if there's a 100% completion reward. Uh like a new animal pattern or something part of me wonders if i would i mean i would have preferred the game to be a 3d platformer just because i prefer 3d platformers but but like this cute adventure game and i do think like this is a adventure game targeted towards children that doesn't it doesn't make the assumption that kids are incapable of figuring things out you know it's it doesn't make the assumption that kids are dumb and they just need flashing colors and stuff like i, I do think a lot of children's games like um like media tie-ins even a game like uh fantasy friends that i played that it just dumbs down mechanics and while th these mechanics are extremely simple i don't know why it's saved here i don't know if the game's broken um you do have to figure it out there's some interesting puzzles uh, it it has really good storytelling and i think like this is a perfect game for kids like like my my niece is not quite into uh, video games yet I'm I'm still working on it. <laughs> but like I think this is going to be one of those games where I'm like this is one of the ones that we're going to I I would like to play together with her cuz I think she would have fun with it. And she could figure things out probably faster than me. It did take me a while to figure stuff out. <laughs> um Yeah, the game is just on a black screen. I don't know if that's Oh, there we go. What happens if I hit continue? I don't think it was supposed to be a black screen. I think it was supposed to be on that screen. Yeah, I'm glad I finished it, though. Because this has been, like, one of those games that I just kind of would think about, like, randomly. Over, over the, uh, over the years. <laughs> and, um, I'm glad I finished it. I don't know. I think the game's broken. I do think this was one of the first games that I played on stream that crashed. I don't know if there's been updates since. 
it's been installed in the Switch for three years now. But it is one of the first first games that crashed. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's not. Oh. Nope, it's just a black screen. I don't think this is what it's supposed to be. Okay, well, that's it for today. Um, it was a cute time. God, I really wish it, it wasn't a black screen. Uh, it was a cute time. I am going to end it there. I'll be back on Monday. I think we're going to start Portal 2. Uh, hopefully that will only be two or three streams. I don't really remember how long it will take me to beat Portal 2. It might take me a bit. <laughs> so Portal 2 Monday, Wednesday, and probably Saturday. DBD Tuesday, Fall Guys Friday. So that's the stream schedule. And then after Portal 2, we're going to start Dropsy. And then after Dropsy... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what we have. So yeah, I'm going to end it there. Thank y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.